Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about ginseng and how to incorporate ginseng into your skincare, um, the benefits of ginseng, and um, like I said, how to incorporate it into your skincare. And without further ado, let's get started. So first I want to talk about exactly what is ginseng. Well, ginseng is a root um, that you pull up out of the ground and um, ginseng is um, very popular in the Asian market as a, a skincare product. It's also used in medicinal properties, medicinal uses. It's also used in food. Um, here in the United States, ginseng is um, um, how do I want to say it? it is harvested it is a very short window of harvest time and it can bring up a lot of um, it has a lot of value and um, if you've ever watched any shows about the harvesting of ginseng I mean it's just basically going out in the woods and knowing where to look and pulling it up out of the ground and there is um, a lot of um, territorial issues here in the United States on people trespassing on other people's lands and trying to invade other people's property on just being able to get the ginseng and being able to harvest it and selling it and it's usually a lot of Asian buyers that are purchasing the ginseng and it can bring a lot of a lot of value, um, almost like mining for gold. I mean, it's, it's pretty expensive. So I'm thinking, man, I wish I had some ginseng growing out here in my backyard <laughs> so I could pull me up some ginseng and go sell it. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, it's a, a very ludicrous um, business. Um, like, a bit, like I said, the, the growing span that there is, you know, to be able to legally harvest it though is a very very short span but anyway and you have a lot of poachers that's the word I'm looking for you have a lot of poachers um, and it's um, mainly up in like the Appalachian Mountains is where there's the, this big big um, market or growing harvesting area I guess is where you find a lot of area that you can find a lot of ginseng that's just out in the wild and but you know there's a lot of people that have already staked their claim on certain areas that you know you can go and look for ginseng but anyway boy I didn't even I didn't even have any of that in my notes none of that was in my notes but anyway so um ginseng is wonderful for anti-aging matter of fact ginseng in the Asian market is known as the herb of youth um, they have uh, it's been very widely popular in the Asian market for many many years as being something that they use for like the fountain of youth so to speak so it has a lot of um, anti-aging ingredients and what is the anti-aging part of the ginseng is that it has a I've phytonutrients in it and the phytonutrients for the actual ginseng um, root itself is that it helps to protect the root. Um, it produces a, a natural chemical or a compound for the root that helps to protect it from bugs and from the sun because it really helps it thrives in dark moist environments. So that's why it's really in the woods is where you're going to find ginseng. It's not going to be out in open fields because it doesn't thrive in um, sun environments. So this compound or this um, chemical that it naturally produces is what helps it to, you know, to keep the bugs away and to keep um, sunshine from harming it. And so this compound that's in it then helps us as humans with our skin, it helps as an anti-aging ingredient that helps to um, even out and brighten the skin. So that's why they think, you know, it's a fountain of youth type ingredient because it's going to help get rid of dead skin cells just to help produce a healthy new skin and just help with toning 
and brightening the skin. And of course, you know, we all want, you know, new radiant skin. And that's what ginseng, ginseng, ginseng will do for us. So what can you do to incorporate ginseng into your skincare? Well, it's very easy to do. Um, it doesn't take a lot of effort whatsoever, and it can be very economical to do so. Um, you don't have to go out and buy very in our expensive products because all of the products that I have to show you today are fairly inexpensive. I don't think that I have anything that is um, too expensive with probably one product. Um, you used to be able to get it from Sephora, but Sephora has quit carrying it and until I go to look for the link for it, it's probably going to be the most expensive. But anyway, the least expensive way that you can put um, ginseng into your skincare routine is by using a sheet mask. And let's see, this is in a gold pack and this is from Naster, which is one of my favorite brands. And this is their ginseng mask pack. And this is just for moisturizing and for tightening, toning. Um, it, ginseng is also hydrating. It does have antioxidants in it. And um, it says it immediately moisturizes and tightens your skin. And it has the ingredients of ginseng extract, hyaluronic acid in it, um, panthol, um, shea butter so that's where you're getting your um, hydration from but the ginseng is what you're getting the tightening from now we'll tell you um, any of your ginseng products that you use are going to have an earthy smell to them because they are where you get your ginseng from is from you know the the mustiest part of the earth you know underneath you know the canopy of the trees where it's dust um, musty smelling you know and they're in down into the ground because they're root if they don't smell earthy they're probably not made with a whole lot of ginseng so if they don't smell musty smell like the earth earthy smelling i i wouldn't even use it because it's probably not that good but anyway i do recommend the naster um ginseng pack um they're very good they're, um, they have enough essence in them. They're not that expensive. You can probably find these at TJ Maxx quite often. You can get these off of Amazon, eBay. So they're very readily available and I do recommend them. And then the next product I have is um, probably one of my favorite brands of Korean skincare as far as masks go and it's the I'm From brand and this one is $25 but you get this is a huge tub of mask and it's the I'm From Ginseng Mask. I like using this um, on Sunday mornings. I do a lot of um, treatments on Sundays. Um, it takes me probably about three hours to get all of my treatments done on Sundays between my hair and masking. But anyway, this is a ginseng extract that delivers heat to the skin. So when you put this on, and the way I put it on is I have a foundation brush from IT Cosmetics, but you can use any foundation brush. It doesn't matter. But that's just what I use it. I dip it in there and I just paint it on my face because, oh, let me get, get my bottle open there. This is what it looks like. It almost looks like it is um, infused with honey, but it's not. It has castor oil in it. So that's what makes it um, a little bit <clears throat> oily looking. But it's, it's the castor oil that's in it. Now this is probably one of the few masks that I have that I can't just walk around and do things when I have this on. I pretty much have to be kind of laid back because it drips. <laughs> it does. It will start running, especially if you know if I'm doing things, my face starts heating up and it really starts to get kind of drippy. But Anyway, that's okay. I don't mind just kind of sitting back in the recliner and resting a little bit while that's on and working its magic. That's okay. But anyway, as you put it on, it really you can really start feeling it kind of heating up a little bit, which is fine because it's kind of opening the pores and kind of really helping to um, flush out those um, um, harsh um, 
irritants you know that are in in your skin and you're just really helping to get all that gunk out of your face and um, it just really helps to replenish the nutrients to this to the skin it just really helps to smooth and just really restore the skin it just feels so good after you rinse everything off and then you're just so hydrated and it just feels so good and one of the best things about this is that it is infused with 3.97 percent of the six-year-old red ginseng which is um, wonderful for the elastic and removing the impurities now you're probably thinking well 3.97 percent is not a whole lot but with it having 3.9 percent of ginseng in it that's that's a high concentration because it's a uh, pure ginseng it's not just a dilute of ginseng it's pure ginseng so that is a high concentration of the six-year-old red ginseng which is a very high concentration of ginseng so it's a very good ginseng product and i really really do enjoy using this um, I like this one I do I like it a lot in like did I say it's $25 so it's not expensive at all and then the next product that I have that you can incorporate into your skincare is a serum and as you can see here I have used um, quite a bit of that I'm about halfway done with it and again this is from I'm from and it's the ginseng serum and this one depending on where you get it it can run anywhere between 20 and 25 dollars and this one is, um, this one contains 7.98% of the pure red ginseng extract in it. So again, it has a really high concentration of the purest ginseng that you can get on the market. And it's not sticky. And it just kind of goes right into the skin. Once you put it on, it just takes a few drops for the skin it has that beautiful gold color to it and like I said it's just so smoothing and oh, it smells so good I think does this have honey in it I can't remember because it almost has just a hint of honey in it but and don't worry about the musty smell the earthy smell to it because you get used to it you do it's not it's not overwhelming you're not going to gag or anything like that you will get used to it and just just keep in mind the benefits that you're getting from the ginseng but yes it just kind of really helps to um, your skin it just smooths right in it goes right in but anyway this one is really good for elasticity and for firmness it enhances the blood circulation to make your complexion fresh while replenishing the skin with nutrients for healthier skin and it just really helps, like I said, with the elasticity and with firmness. It has vitamins, it has minerals, it has hyaluronic acid in it, and antioxidants, which is all very good for the skin. I like to use this as a morning serum, and I just love this. I have, like I said, I've used almost half of this, and will probably repurchase this again i was trying to see the ingredients but of course it's all in um korean yes and i don't read korean so anyway now this product here is the next one that i have and this one i did get from sephora and um, i know you can't get it from sephora anymore but you can get it in other places and this is the borean ginseng milk and um, this one is a milky lotion that's enriched with um, ginseng to improve the skin's texture and it adds hydration and it will um, feel softer and will look smoother with continued use and it is just like it's, I said it is, just, just a really milky texture to it. I use this kind of like a toner is how I use it and um, it is a milky solution <laughs> and I just put some drops into it and then I just take it and I just press it onto my face just like I would a toner and I just press it has a nice scent to it now this one must have some um, added fragrance to it 
I'm going to assume that it does. I don't think it does. Anyway, but I have been enjoying using this as just a, um, a toner step. Even though it's supposed to be a, a um, hydrating lotion, like kind of like a light moisturizer, but it's not enough moisturizer for me. So I've just been, have been using it as a hydrating toner, and I have enjoyed using it that way. And then the last thing that I have, the last item, but definitely not the least item, and this is a product that I probably would have never bought on my own, but this was in a pink soul box. And this is um, from Nature, and it's the Red Ginseng Eye Wrinkle Solution Treatment. And this is $22. And this is a pretty good size tube for eye treatment, an eye cream for $22. Now this one has 33% red ginseng extract, and it helps to improve elasticity, smooths, and adds hydration. And I absolutely love this cream. I use this um, at night as a nighttime under eye treatment cream. Now, what that means for you and for me is that I will use this just like I would a serum or any kind of treatment product on my face, but this is going underneath the eyes. Then after it has soaked in and settled, then I will use a hydration a moisturizing cream over the top but I like to use it just as a um, a treatment product and I have just been using it oh yeah it definitely has <laughs> that musty smell to it that earthy smell and it just feels so good and it just pats underneath the eyes so well I don't have anything underneath there right now so let's just put a little dab there as you can see, it just kind of just goes on, and it doesn't take very much at all. So this little tube, or big tube, it's going to last a really long time. And the first few times I used it, I'm just like, wow, this is really nice. And it took me a while to open it because I had some other things that I was using. And this is probably what really kind of inspired me to do this type of video was like man i really want to talk about this but man how do how do i want to incorporate this into a video then i got to thinking well why don't i talk about how about ginseng because i'm thinking i have all these products of, of ginseng and how do i want yeah let's do that type of video i really like doing these kind of videos you know about talking about the different ingredients and how to incorporate them into your skincare routine. But yes, I just really have been enjoying this this little guy right here. This has been a really good, a really good under eye cream, treatment cream. So that is the products that I have that I have been using to incorporate ginseng into my skincare re routine. And I hope that you have enjoyed and I will talk to you soon.